Hi, this is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, a couple things I'd like to discuss um, concerning some of the videos I put out last week. One was cybersecurity, and the other was on cloud. And it seems like a lot of people can't quite get their hands around cybersecurity and cloud at the same time. Uh, they think that the cloud is not reliable, um, it, that it's open to all sorts of hacks, uh, people can get in there and read all your information and everything else, and and I want to tell you that that's farthest from the truth. Uh, maybe that was okay five, ten years ago or, or whatever, but today the cloud is really secure. Um, it's, it's a place where you can put your data. Now, I must emphasize first that you have responsibility as a cloud user uh, to do certain things. And we're not just talking about passwords. There's a lot involved depending on what level of the cloud you're using. You have certain responsibilities. And uh, of course, the cloud provider has certain responsibilities also. Their end though is solid. I mean, it's absolutely solid. They know what they're doing. Um, not only do they know what they're doing, but um, they have the experts 24 seven there. Uh, that if anything goes wrong, they're right there to take care of the issues. Um, they have the equipment, uh, you know, firewalls. Well, you know, and actually today a lot of it isn't even equipment. It's it's actually software. So they have uh, all the software there that prevents intrusions, intrusion detection, things like that. Uh, encryption, state of the line encryption is is available today. And no matter where, whether you're going to use the cloud or not, even if you're just going to do backup uh, to the cloud, uh, you should be able to, or you should be using state-of-the-art uh, encryption. I mean, some of that stuff is phenomenal. It just can't be broken. Maybe the NSA can. I don't know. I'm not with the NSA. But I don't see anyone else breaking uh, cybersecurity encryption like AES. Um, you know, that's, that's a cybersecurity uh, algorithm protocol. Uh, that's just solid. Um, it's just not going to be broken. In fact, AES, if I understand it right, is what's used in crypto lockers. So when someone call uh, gets into your system and they encrypt everything on your system, it uses uh, that encryption device. Unless you have the key, you know, it's just not going to, It's you just can't break it. Uh, it's going to take thousands of years, uh, supposedly, to break it. Uh, of course, when they come out with quantum uh, computing, uh, which I'm sure will happen in the next 10, 15 years, then they're going to have to come out with better uh, encryption. I'm sure uh, a quantum computer, from what I hear in theory, uh, can break AES, but we're still talking about theory uh, here, and it's not at this date of recording, to my knowledge, <laughs> it's not uh, available. But anyway, just to let you uh, think about some things here, when you're thinking about cyber security, when you're thinking about the cloud, uh, I want to give you an example um, of something that I just saw in the news the other day, and uh, I thought this was great. It's on a website called Warrior Maven. Now, that's a kind of a strange name, but that website's been around for a while, and I I, I know it deals with all the uh, government and, and cybersecurity and uh, new weapon systems that are out there, things like that. It's kind of an interesting website, and it's very authoritative. Um, I got uh, uh, cued into it uh, based on uh, the news. I'm always watching the news every day, and they talked about Warrior Maven, and and uh, and so I picked up on it. I, I I went to the website. Very interesting. But one of the things they were talking about the other day was cybersecurity in the cloud. <laughs> Amazing. They call it mission mobility, and they want to be able to put things in the cloud. So that when uh, Army guys, Marine Corps people, uh, Air Force people, whatever, Navy, everybody is out on patrol or out doing things, that they can go right on to a commercial cloud. Now, they're not talking about a special cloud. They're talking about commercial cloud and get top secret information. So when you talk about the, the uh, you know, the NSA and you talk about uh, the CIA and the FBI and and the Marine Corps and the Defense Department and stuff like that. And they're talking about the fact that they're going to take top secret information, operational top secret information, and they're going to put it in a commercial cloud. And of course, you can look this up on Warrior Maven uh, website. Excuse me a second. <coughs>
you can look this up on Warrior Maven website and uh, see what they said. There's, you know, must be about a thousand or two thousand word, uh, um, you know, uh, article on it, and you can hear all the details. But this is solid technology uh, in the cloud. So don't get caught up in this old idea that somehow the cloud is scary. You know, people hack into it all the time and your data is somewhere else. And, you know, I don't have control of my data. I tell you, it's more secure than putting data in your local server. Okay. Once it's in the cloud and if you do it right from your office to the cloud, you're absolutely secure. You don't need to worry about it at all. So, um, you know, you need to consider that and you need to, to bring your, your, your thoughts of the technology up to speed. <clears throat> so the bottom line is you, you need to look and do some study in cybersecurity and you need to do some uh, study in, um, in the cloud because professional cloud, now I'm not talking about just, you know, just any cloud service. You've got to check them out. There's some good ones out there, AWS, Google, uh, Azure, uh, cloud services like that, just excellent. You just can't throw things out there either. You got to make sure that that you design your your application correctly, and that you do it in such a way that it's secure. Things like that. So you know you just don't dump everything out there on the internet. You you have your responsibilities also when it comes to the cloud. But I did want to show you that it is secure. That once you get to that point uh, of putting your stuff in the cloud, and you should, you should put your backups in the cloud and everything else. And I talked about that in other, uh, videos. So you can get all the details about, you know, um, the fact that they replicate your database all, wherever you want, all over the place. And, uh, they follow all the standards that are supposed to be out there. Standards with the government, the standards with, um, with credit card, the, the standards with HIPAA, uh, the, the medical, uh, 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 the medical records and stuff like that under HIPAA have to be secure. In fact, let's talk about HIPAA and let's talk about security and all. Now, um, there was a doctor who had a, uh, uh, a clinic um, and what he would do each night, and he was advised to do this by his, cyber, by not cybersecurity guy, but according to his IT guy, he was advised to do this. And that was to put all the records, all his records each night, back it up to his laptop and then take the laptop home. Now that might have been a great solution for a small office, I don't know, maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago, um, but it's not today. It's not a good way to back up. It, you shouldn't be advising your people to do it. If you own a business, you shouldn't be doing this. I, I mean, you know, in the meantime, before you can set up cloud backup, uh, you know, okay, that's, a, that's at least a band-aid, but it's not the standard anymore. And so if you're, an IT person or you're a business owner and you're watching this video, you got to know that's not the standard anymore. Anyway, to finish the story, uh, this doctor uh, had his laptop. He left it in the car and he went into dinner after, after hours. He drove to a restaurant, left his laptop in the car. Uh, car window got smashed. Lap laptop was taken. And uh, of course, with HIPAA, you got to report those type of things uh, to the government. So he reported it through the proper channels and everything else. And when he did that, uh, they came back and they did an investigation and they found out his backup was not encrypted. And now if he would have encrypted his backup, uh, it would have been fantastic. He would have been in safe harbor, but he did not encrypt his, his laptop. And that's how good encryption is, by the way, that someone gets it. They're not going to be able to break in if they don't have the key. The key's, the key's out there. Um, you know, once you, you hold on to the key, you can uh, uh, decrypt the thing just as fast as as you would normally read or, or faster than that, as you normally download. Anyway, he did not do that. And uh, he was fined. And he was fined one and a half million dollars. And that's not unusual. There's a lot of million dollar uh, settlements, so... A lot of them are hundreds of thousands of dollars. So if you have uh, PII, personal identifiable information, uh, and uh, you allow that to get out, you know, credit cards, social security numbers, things like that, there's a lot of ramifications for that. If you're a, if you're a medical facility and you have, um, you have medical records, electronic, electronic medical records, um, uh, EFI, uh, uh, electronic protected health, um, information. If you have that, 
and you're backing up and you're not encrypting it, you're in trouble um, if that gets stolen or someone comes in and steals your server. Start to think through, if you're an IT person, start to think through not server in the office. Think about server in the cloud. I mean, you can go to a cloud, you can download uh, or you can design a server right in the cloud. I mean, you know, what is a server? It's only software anyway, right? Uh, working on a machine. Why not the machine somewhere else? Let them handle the air conditioning. Let them handle the power. Let them handle equipment upgrades and software upgrades and things like that. Um, we're going to get into that in a future video uh, about all the advantages of the cloud. But just to let you know today that it is absolutely secure. So when people send me these um, messages, and I'm, I'm sure I'll get it, and it's from you know good-natured people who who are just trying to figure out what's best and what they've been told in years past. Uh, but when I get these these uh, these statements from people who say, oh, the cloud, you can't trust the cloud, you don't know where it's at, you don't have physical control. Well, actually, you've been using the cloud for years. Most uh, emails is in the cloud. Um, you know, I, I use uh, G Suite, so all my documents are in the cloud. Why in the world do I want to... Uh, to constantly worry about where my documents are. And if my laptop gets stolen, it's no big deal. I just go to G Suite and I can open up any document I have. All my accounting's in the cloud. I do nothing locally anymore. It's silly to even think of that. Why would I do that? I got the cloud. It does everything that I want it to do for me. And it's great. It's very inexpensive. And I got, I got five um, terabits of storage for like 10 bucks a month. It's like, okay. Uh, I got too many hard drives that are that I had to, uh, you know, destroy and put in the trash, things like that. You know, there's one other thing too. Is is a lot of people say, well, you know, when you're done with the cloud and you're, you're, you're um, you know, you have all this data in there, and and you decide that you're going to take your data out of the cloud, and you know, how do you uh, make sure that no one else can read your data? Uh, this is really simple. It, it's uh, called crypto shredding, and uh, all you do is you just destroy the key. No one can read it. And if you've ever seen plain text crypto, and I've seen it with the when I worked for the government, you can't read this stuff. It it's just a gobbledygook, and it makes absolutely no sense to anybody. So it's completely secure. Think about that. You know, a lot of people, and I do banking online also. It's the same type of security that's used in your banking system. And, um, you know, is there breaches in the banks? Yes. Is there breaches in, uh, in the cloud? I don't know of any. I'm sure there's some sort of problem somewhere, absolutely. But I can mention over and over again all the, the problems when people are storing their data locally. And uh, anyone can get to it, especially when they allow thumb drives. And that's another story. Uh, that's another story for another day. Um, you know, some of the things you should not uh, do and some of the policies, procedures, that you should have in your business or you should be recommending to your customers. But at any rate, this is uh, just uh, cybersecurity and cloud in the news. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.